Kalimera, this is Laser, and today I'm gonna show you how to play Greece. Um, Greece is one of the difficult countries to play with, uh, mostly because you don't always depend on uh, what you are doing. <coughs> Sorry. But you also depend on what British are going to do and Ottoman, Ottomans. So let's start the game. Um, the biggest problem you, you're going to have is that you're your country is occupied by Ottomans and uh, you need to fight them to take it back or you can go and uh, well uh, set your national focus on crisis in uh, in your occupied land and then hope that you can win a crisis war or simply through diplomacy which is not not often gonna happen since uh, Ottomans tend to ally UK and then, well, UK is quite a quite a big factor in uh, in crisis. So let's. Since the great thing about Greece is that you start in a sphere of UK, so we can ally them, which we are going to do for sure. But the problem is that you are not going to have any money. Uh, since you're in the sphere, your tariffs are going to mean nothing, really. You're not going to get any money from it. So let's increase our taxing. And we want to make sure that we are getting some clergymen and uh, bureaucrats. So we can, we can raise our income. And I'm gonna get... Actually, no. I want to keep our... A ranking, so I'm gonna keep some armies here. Let's merge them here, and I'm gonna start increasing bureaucracy first, and then I'm gonna switch to clergymen once we get to one percent. So that's it. Let's start the game. And one more thing: culture. Let's go for ideological thoughts, just because of we want some pluralism, so we can get some more uh, research points. And now from this point you can go into a war with Egypt and or Burma. You can of course go into a war with uh, Daina, but I think it's easier for Brits to get rid of Burma first. So let's go to just for war, conquest, and let's go for Burma. Let's increase our speed a bit, and that's it. Now, you can go for a concession if you want, uh, I prefer... Oh, great. Well, this is this is one downside of going for conquest early on. You're going to get a lot of infamy and then we're going to be tied for... for a few years after the, this war is over. So we need some some way of burning our infamy. Well, never mind. Let's just get get Burma first. Um, let's check our decisions. Voluten ton Elion. Elinon. Okay. Um, so political reform selected weighted belt and our government changed. Lose to militancy, we have none, we don't want to take this reform just now. Really no need for it. Um, Megali there. So this is one where when you form Great Greece. And we're going to get some decent prestige. Um, but it's really not the, not the easiest one to to do. So let's see, we already have two generals, that's it. that is really nice, but let's check them. Oh, this is this one is crap. Go away. Okay, we're going to keep this one. Petrus Muskos. Not a bad general. So for the most part, we're going to depend on what Brits do. If they ever... Oh, this is, this is not something we really needed. Uh, they're in, in a war with Russia and Netherlands, so they're 
going to be busy for some time. Hopefully they will still join our war against Burma. They have enough troops in uh, in India to deal with them, so that shouldn't really be a problem. The problem about uh, UK is that most of their well, their troops are split, so they really, really not they're really not good at fighting in Europe. They can win some minor wars. So sorry, I paused. When did it? Never mind. Some minor wars, for example, against Ottomans. They, they they can do that. They have some some fleet. I, I believe in Malta. They start with. Well, they obviously obviously moved their ships. Well, never mind. Let's check our justification. Okay, it's nearly done. Not bad. So uh, the one problem is that Ionian Islands are in sphere of. Uh, of UK and actually our satellite of UK but I think you can get some some decision that gives you back I'm not sure I think you need some nationalism imperialism I believe I'm not completely sure okay so let's declare war on Borba and call UK in let's see if they're gonna join and there we go a new year Okay, they're likely to join. Uh, great, they joined. So Dynam is also allied with Burma. You can go for Dynam, but China might be a problem to handle early on. Okay, we can now switch to clergymen. China might be a problem since once you de deal with uh, Dynam, they might interfere and then they might fight you. So let's keep that for a later stage. If we ever, actually. Now I'm not sure if... Uh, if we are going to attack uh, Siam after this. Siam looks like a, like a decent province. I mean, decent land to take. Sind might be another option. However, we, we don't really have infamy for Sint. We need uh, Tant to establish Protectorate. So I'm probably going for Siam. Unfortunately, for some reason, Opium is not that uh, valuable as, as, uh, as I think it should be, really. In most countries, it was outlawed and it was... Well, it was really hard to get, so... Not in UK, though. Um, I'm not sure if we should go for Chiang Mai or... Uh, Nakon Rochisma? I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> um, we really want some manpower at the moment. Maybe Rochisma is not a bad choice. After all, they have some tea and fruit, so... Yeah, may we might want to get them. So Greece... Greece is not really a great country uh, to become an industrial power. If you want, you can go for uh, colonial power, though. We... We suffer from a really low amount of research points. Um, that that is one big disadvantage. But still, uh, you can go for um, for uh, becoming a, a colonial power. We can get some countries. I mean, land from Oman here. Those are easy wars to to win. We don't really need any armies to finish those wars. We don't really need a British to help us. So that's great because we can deal with them on our own. And uh, the good thing about Gre Greece is that they have uh, a lot of small, small states, which means that we ha we can have a lot of uh, naval bases, which we're going. Actually, I'm not going to build all of them right now. 
um, because they they're going to cost some money, and I want to I want to preserve our money at the moment. I'm gonna increase our education to 100 percent. Our literacy is actually going uh, going up pretty fast. It's already at 20 22 percent, so that is one good thing. Um, let's see how Brits are doing. They're going doing great, of course. Are they going to demand something from Siam? I mean, Dino. No, not so far. Well, okay. We don't really care. I just hope that they won't uh, demand anything from from Burma. In that that case, we might not get our territories. Let's see. So far, it doesn't seem like that they will. Okay, let's get some more generals. I'm I'm going to get one admiral. Just in case, speed forty percent. That's great. Speed is one of the most important things to get uh, on your admirals, so ships can move faster. Not the best generals, but not not bad one. Morale, morale is decent in the in the early game, especially. So there we go. We have French faction leading our country. We can switch to a Russian faction and British faction, which is actually liberal. Um, reform? No, I want prestige. You're fifteen. Hey. So obviously you can't handle British faction. Liberals are really not the not the party you want as Greece because they will just reduce your taxing income, which is the only <laughs> saving grace for Greece at the moment. Our rich are getting actually luxury clothes, so I might actually stop stop taxing them because we're getting none. And I'm going for, since we're getting some literacy already, I'm going for medicine early on. As you can see, we're almost getting no people, so let's let's increase our population gain. So anyway, I was talking about political parties. As you can see, the only one with jingoism is French faction, so we want to keep them as long as possible. Uh, protectionism, protectionism, that is great, I love protectionism, and the only one with state capitalism is Russia, Russian faction, so that is something I will like to have later on. And as you can see, we can actually switch to sea power and merchant marine. Once we become a... it really... oh, wait... Let's get some now base here. Once we become a Great Greece or Byzantine Empire, I might want to switch to sea power. Um, that is if we're going to colonize anything. It it is really it really depends on the timing. If you can't get your land free freed by 1855, 1860s, then there is no point in going for uh, colonial power. As by the time it will be really too late, even the AI alone will colonize enough to to really uh, keep you low on uh, on land that you can get get. So we're actually 11th. If you if you can get some uh, more. You know what? If we can get some more prestige, we might be able to jump into great power stages. Let's see if that is possible, I think. Hmm. We have course on UK here, we have course on Ottomans, but we also have course on Egypt. But let's get some more land from Egypt if we can. I'm gonna go for demand concession and I'm gonna take um, Sinai. 
They're actually at war with Ottomans, so that is great. Let's hope Ot Ottomans get rid of uh, Egyptian fleet. That is really the only problem we, we have at the moment. We have 11 ships. With a naval tech of 1, actually. So that might be a problem. I'm not sure if I should get Suez, I mean Sinai, or Middle Egypt. Upper Egypt is also not bad. Let's go for Sinai, I want to connect our, our promises. I want to have access to um, our Asian, Asian Empire. Actually, it's only Burma right now, but, you know, we will expand, hopefully. Basic chemistry is almost done. So, since we are going to invade Egypt, I want some cavalry. Oh, fertilizer! Great, we can fart now. Okay, uh, split those guys. One, you go here, you go there. And we're also going to need some ships. Let's get four clippers, and I think we should get one free, or one or two frigates. Hmm, I don't know. this will cost a lot of money. But since we are in a British sphere, we shouldn't have any problems getting clippers. Hopefully. Let's see where British fleet is. As you can see, they have Malta, so that is a naval base they can get uh, get to Egypt easily. And a new year. Yay! What are Ottomans doing? Let's check if there are some other wars now. Colombia. Whoa! British interfered. That's interesting. I fo hope they s just sign a white piece here. We have truce with Russia. Belgium! What the fuck? Belgium actually won a war against... Whoa. They won a war against Russia and the Netherlands and they actually expanded their land. I might actually want to ally Belgium. Let's see if I can... Greece relations... We're not actually doing anything with our... Um... Oh, they're becoming great power. Uh, that's not going to work. Let's try to ally Sicily then. They might come in handy. And our fleet is done. Do we have a... Yeah, our war justification is over. I'm gonna pause and decrease the speed. How much time do we have until our... our well, September, so it's quite soon. We have to start funding my army. I'm gonna lose some money, but... Uh, hopefully we can deal... Deal with the Egyptians fast enough so we don't lose too much. We're actually not losing that much yet. We're still making money, which is surprisingly great. Let's get another mineral here. And get you guys there. I'm gonna actually prepare our troops to just march into Crete once uh, we declare war on Egypt. Well, they na their navy suffered a bit from Ottomans, which is great. June. Reinforce our fleet just in case. Uh, I think we are ready to go. Demand concessions, Sinai. And 
Of course, we are going to add uh, Crete so we can get some prestige and uh, and more land. As well as freeing our course, right? Get some more generals. We're getting some decent generals, actually. Which is great. I'm gonna spread one guy go here. Just in case that Brits uh, start occupying uh, this one, so we can get enough war score that we can uh, demand more land from Egypt. What's their fleet doing at, at all? Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. I didn't invite Brits. I'm going to blockade them so we can get enough war score, so we can add a war, war goal. And then I'm gonna invite Brit British. Okay, I think this this would be enough. Yeah, okay. Quark core. Um, there we go. Uh, let's go to allies. Call ally. We might be able to actually win a war alone, but why waste our armies when we can do it with Brits? Right. So there we go. Plus, their their uh, Egypt is more more likely to peace out once they they are actually fighting a great power. Uh, I'm gonna keep increasing our relations with Sicily. There, uh, the reason why I, why I'm going for Sicily is because they're not in a sphere, at least not at the moment. France might eventually, might eventually sphere them, but it's going to take quite some time. And since they are not in sphere, they are more likely to accept our alliance offer. At the moment, as you can see, we have high infamy, so they won't, but who knows, who knows later on. I have high hopes of that. Unfortunately... Uh, our brigades are suffering a bit of attrition, but you know, we have to do it. And we're actually going to have some ticking war score here. Or... No, UK is not doing anything at the moment. There's a problem with AI. They have huge fleet, but they have no no transports at all. And there we go. As you can see, as soon as our naval base uh, was finished, we started losing money. As it requires some input to be to maintain the um, the sea. We'll actually maintain our power in the sea. We can actually get rid of it. I think we can deal with their navy. Early on, um, clippers actually have some attack. Okay, maybe we really can't. <laughs> Let's see, how are we doing? We're actually losing. It doesn't look like air, but... We have superior now attack. I'm gonna retreat. We've done enough. And there we go. We actually destroyed three of their ships, so that is why we didn't lose any war score. Well, almost none. Um, the one bad thing is that um, you start with a naval base in Corinth. Uh, it would be better better if you start with a base in Kalamata. Or Nafpilon. Nafpilon. But you know, this is for historical reasons. How are we doing in the war? Actually, British are doing no. Oh, okay. They're waiting. I'm gonna get some organization in our fleet and then I'm going to blockade Egypt for a war score. 
Actually, no need for our army to stay there, but never mind. We're going to move them later on. Let's blockade Egypt. And we're going to get a lot of war score from this. Because they have many coastal promises. Yeah, two. Not bad. I wish I could find their fleet and destroy it. Hmm. They usually dock in Suez. Can't find them. Never mind. Get some more blockades. And there we go. We already have four from... Uh, okay, they're demanding Lebanon. Oh, really? Oh, you know, that's great. There is a reason more for Ottomans to go into war with the... Uh, with UK now. They get Lebanon. Because obviously Ottomans have core on, on it, so that is a great thing. And I'm actually going to make a shortcut here once we we are done with with this war again. This is this is going to be a long series, so. I really want to make that uh, Byzantine Empire. Oh, see. The problem is that Ottomans somehow get always get a great ally. Whether it is UK or uh, Germany, in this case Russia. Oh. With Ottomans alone we can deal with, but uh, with their allies we can't. That is the problem. So maybe if we can get to Sicily to ally us, let's see, increase opinion. Actually relations, not opinion. Well maybe, who knows, if we become a great power, how far are we? Show great powers, they have 86, we have 40 almost. How much do we get, get from this war? Propose peace. 2 and then 10, so... Well, no, that was 0 0.2, right? So we're going to be at some... 50 power? Uh, actually, not power, score. Uh, for the core core territories that you free, you're actually going, going to get uh, 10 prestige. You know what? We might actually go into... Going for a crisis on Atomus. Let's see how our liberation movement is doing. Oh, I forgot to get that idealism. We're actually getting some some decent research points for um, for the country of our size. We need. To, okay, Atomus are almost dropping from great power status don't have any liberation moment there. That's unfortunate. Have they... Yeah, they... they Ottomans were in a war with Egypt. I don't know how that war ended. Oh, actually, yeah. They got Aleppo and... That's really it. That's... That's interesting. Usually they take at least two or three more... Um, course. So who is number nine? Belgium? No, Belgium is already a great power. Spain is nine, and they're really close. If we can get a crisis against Ottomans, they will fall out of great power status. So I'm gonna. What is okay? We are in alliance with UK. They should support us, really. Hmm. We are still losing some money, so I don't want to build any any more troops in uh, in Asia. But I'm wondering if I should move those troops and start occupying Sinai. That that might not be a bad idea. I don't want to lose any war score against them, so 
Brits don't peace out. That's why I'm going to use um, three gates to blockade and then just just board her, our troops. I hope we don't have to fight them. They have eight brigades, really um, not the best thing that can happen. And let's get one more. Andrea Zaimis. Ethiopia should declare war on Egypt at this point, I guess. But they are not. Oh, okay. Let's go for Suez. Perhaps I should build some... Get some artillery to support us. Just in case. Java? Really? Wait a sec. Crisis. Really? France? <laughs> I've never seen this happen. I've been playing Victoria 2 for two years now. Or no, maybe a year and a half. And I've never seen this happen. France wants to liberate Yala. Let's see how this... Um, oh great, Brits can't join this crisis, so actually Ottomans are going to support Prussia, then Russia should join France, yep, and Ottomans are going to lose this one, this is really luck, this is pure luck, oh god, now we can abuse the fact that they, I hope they are going to I lose a war there. Uh, let's see if Belgium should support. I hope they support France. That way they can increase their prestige and um, maintain their their position as a great power. And there we go. They'll they'll probably peace out soon. Cut Prussia down to size. That means France will be be stronger. I'm gonna let's see. We have great relations with uh, Russia, actually. I'm gonna increase relations with them because they're pretty good at beating Ottomans. They both have low tech, and then Russia just obliterates them with a uh, with number of armies. Um, okay, so our bureaucracy is at one hundred percent. We don't have to. Encourage it anymore. And how comes we are losing our research points? I don't know why. Anyway, let's get our. Hmm. Let's get some soldiers here. Unfortunately, we have to fight this war on our own, since Brits are completely useless, occupying nothing. Uh, but okay, I just hope they don't peace out. You see, it would be easier for us to win this war alone than with Brits, but whatever. We well, lost some prestige. Or did we? I think we were at 19 anyway. We probably were. Mm. So, uh, the reason why I'm going for Sinai is that... Uh, okay, let's just move here. Once we occupy it, we'll be able to make some ships here and then transport our troops to Sinai and then use those ships in Europe and move it back to Greece. That's why we we can uh, actually actually that is 
how we are going to fight Ottomans. We need our massive armies from Asia. Actually, Shan states, Greek Pego, as you can see, our Burma has almost 1 million population. And we are getting 400 right now due to medicine. How much war score do we have on Egypt? Six only? Hmm. Okay, that's gonna increase soon. I'm gonna go for Cairo. Get the capital and get war score. Hopefully British won't peace out us. Lebanon is shouldn't be too much of a war score. And is there going to be a war? It seems I Austria joined France. Oh Goodbye Ottomans, goodbye Prussia. This is going to be ugly. And we can you know what? Uh, if I declared war on Ottomans, once they start fighting in a great war, I could beat them easily. But I don't want to. Because this is a guide to show how to... Uh, how to beat them uh, in every circ circumstances. This is just a lucky, lucky case of the, them going into a great war against... Russia and France, and they're going to be heavy, heavily beaten, and I don't want to use it to our advantage, since that is not going to happen in most cases. The only problem might be their fleet, but that's not going to bother us once we transport our troops, and as you can see, Austria is going to beat them, so it's quite unfortunate. Ottomans and Spain have some problems being uh, actually remaining at a great, great power status. If you see that they are not going to get uh, too many territories from Egypt, then they are probably not going to remain as a great power for too long. As it is the case right now, because um, most of their war score, com uh, I mean their score, comes from uh, their prestige. And uh, some from their military, but military is gonna decrease pretty pretty soon, so. As you can see, they had some capital ships and they lost them here. So, good job, Austria. And I'm gonna... Now, we're done with him. <laughs> so how's UK doing? Okay, they're occupying some. Not bad. France, yeah. This is also going to increase our relations with France, which is great. We're at 11 war score against uh, Egypt, so that is great. That mean we means we can peace out before um, Brits. As you can see, they they're demanding more from from Egypt. Uh, which is bad for us because they might peace out with them and then don't get any of our goals which which will hurt us in two ways first uh, we won't get our land our dem we demanded and we're going to lose some prestige for not not getting what we wanted I'm going to get those artillery stacks so we can occupy faster The reason why I w uh, went for cavalry is to have maximum uh, reconnaissance efficiency, which increases our ability to capture territories fast. Now let's get this. How's the war going? Of course, Ottomans are getting heavily beaten. Prussia is actually doing quite well. They're losing some some lands to France here, but uh, 
they're ma they managed to beat Austria and Russia here, which is quite interesting. They should lose a war still. They're losing some battles actually, which is interesting. So who knows? Maybe no, that's really. I was thinking there might be a possibility for. Uh, let's get state environment or. No, I'm going to get military staff system. I was thinking there might be a possibility for Prussia to win this war simply by uh, winning battles and getting war score. But it doesn't seem likely. Okay, they would accept, so we're going to get peace. Let Brits keep uh, fighting in, in this war. We don't really care. Egypt wants a no. Sorry. And we can now stop funding our troops. Luckily all our troops are um, at max size. So we don't need to reinforce them. And we got some decent prestige bonus. And we have Crete now. Not too bad province. Get some fruit, but really the population is terrible, only 30k. The only real reason you want <laughs> your Greek territories back is because of uh, prestige. And because we like beating Ottomans, so... As you can see, Ottomans are going down, which is great. Let's get our troops back to Athens. We could actually get some more territories from Egypt, but I didn't want to extend the war. And we're, we're quite fine. No, we're actually going to declare a war in Oman. Hopefully we won't get too, too much infamy. Was scared for a moment. Uh, and let's pause for a second. I think I'm going to make a cut here. So, welcome back. And we should be able to fight a war against Ottomans soon. Actually, as soon as this, uh, this great war is over, I'm going to uh, start pumping a crisis. Mm, let's see if Thessalia, Thessalia, or how is this Thessalia? What the fuck? This is East Macedonia. This should be the. <laughs> <laughs> no! Paradox, why? Those regions are, are so bad. Ah, th this is a province of Thessalonica. So, I guess this should be a Thessaly. And then, I don't know about this one, but... Edessa, right? Well, whatever. Doesn't really bother us, right? Uh, build some navy. I'm gonna get some clippers here in Asia. And Sharmel Sheikh is actually going to produce ships in Asian part of Egypt, not in European. Or whatever, it's African, right? But you get what I mean. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay, they got they got their, their land here. So I wonder if Brit if you. Declare war on uh, Ottomans right now, would Brits, they're actually likely to um, get into a war. But you know what, if we, if we, if you're able to get a crisis in, uh, in Turkey, then we can get some more prestige from, uh, from resolving the crisis in our way. Hopefully it will be in our way. The good thing is, uh, Ottomans are kind of hated 
by the rest of the world right now. So that means we are quite likely to get some crisis going against them. It might not be a bad idea to get some... Uh, well, actually it was a bad idea because we have no money. But whatever. Uh, get some... Force here. In those two provinces. Just in case we have to have fight with Ottomans. Ottomans are not going to be any problem for us. It will be... Wallachia and Moldova. That will fight us. Um... They can be quite difficult to handle, since they, they actually have better tech than Ottomans, I think. Let me check. If you're a smaller nation, you really don't want to fight these additional nations. They actually have lower tech at the moment, but lower in the, uh, later in the game they actually manage to out-tech Ottomans. Simply because the Ottomans are quite, quite bad at uh, at researching. So what are we encouraging? Okay, no, we want in Shan states. Why did I go in Pego? Never mind. So we don't really need these these, these cavalry stacks anymore. Gonna get rid of those. We are not going to occupy those territories. I just want to preserve our land so uh, Thomas don't get, get any war score against us. And actually let's merge our fleet here. No, since we are going to fight uh, Oman or Zanzibar, I'm going to move our fleet here. And you guys, you can go here. Two of you go here and then one go here so that's that way we can get a lot of war score from blockades how's our friend Sicily doing if we didn't have the team for me we could ally them but unfortunately we have it so um, we'll have to wait hmm. Actually, Java or Java, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, is not being occupied, so... What do they demand? Acquire Friesland. And Russia acquire cars, so of course. Cut Russia down to size. Some usual stuff, nothing more. The problem is that uh, if we get backed by UK, that is, so, there is some chance of uh, France not not backing us, because as you can see, they hate British from historical historical reasons. And we can now declare war on Oman, right? Yeah, we can. Zanzibar is the best re re region to get. As you can see, we already have fourteen percent uh, war score. And they are, they are already offering us a piece. Now, do I want to get some more from them? I could get Somaliland. 